everybody, it's Dr. Rick coming at you with another segment of Riding with Rick. This is going to be a short one, but it's going to be a good one. Uh, it's going to be a positive one uh, because I want to give equal energy to the stuff that uh, needs to be celebrated, needs to be admired uh, as much as we give attention to all the stuff that's going wrong and that we need to change. Uh, before I do, I'm, this is going to be a short one, so it's going to be real short, sweet, and quick. But I want to, uh, first of all, remind you, uh, we are in the middle of a fundraiser. I cannot stress that enough. We've got to be on our game in that area. That is one area where we are definitely not on code. And I'm not just talking about with my organization. I'm talking about across the board. Uh, the people who are really, truly working with this normally network in some way or another. So we talk about these things. And we're missing the boat on that. So again, if you believe in the work we're doing in the community, I'm not talking about just being on this app or this platform. Uh, this is dissemination of information. This is for empowerment. It takes work and energy and effort to be prepared to have these discussions. You don't just pop up with it, but there's so much real work going on in the community that's underfunded. So we need your support. All right, look, let's talk about something positive. Um, some of my most favorite players in the NBA have worn a number three. I mean, just in recent years, uh, CP3, uh, Allen Iverson, um, and um, D-Wade, uh, uh, and uh, a huge D-Wade fan while he played not so much now um i mean the turn he's taking and some of the things he's making um just not sitting well with me i'm not gonna get into it because i don't want to rob this moment but uh definitely as a basketball player one of the coldest killers in the game and um he chose Allen iverson to uh introduce him in, uh, into the Hall of Fame and to me that's one of the greatest honors you can bestow upon somebody and I think it's mad love I think that we focus so heavily on um, the lack of brotherhood the constant competitiveness and and you're talking about people who competed at it, against each other at a high level uh, having a massive respect for one another and showing a very intense level of connectivity and brotherhood so i mean shout out to d way for choosing ai and ai for whatever reason is drawing the ire of sports writers and something all of a sudden you know uh he, you know he made it in and he, he's drawing the ire now uh everybody's trying to find people they can say that's that, that was better than ai when he played the game pound for pound that kid was a killer pound for pound extremely skilled extremely athletic played the game with his entire heart uh the way you want to see somebody play the game he the, the thing they didn't like about him he called it like it was the thing they didn't like about him they couldn't stop him from getting tattoos which opened up the gate now and tattoos running a month uh couldn't get him to take the braids down i mean just different things that he refused to change about himself which to me is immensely important a person who was kind of treated like the black sheep in the league but his talent wouldn't allow him to be ignored is chosen as the person to introduce one of the faces of the league uh and another remarkable and exceptional player uh this is more than sports and you know you hear that a lot this is more than sports this is more than sports but this is to me is more than sports because sometimes it, especially if you follow the story of ai you know some of the struggles he's gone through uh bouts with depression and a bunch of other things since he left the league and all of a sudden here he is and you know he's being acknowledged and recognized uh by somebody with a lot of uh weight in the league somebody who is going to go down as one of the all-time greats and so my thing is we need more of this not just from our celebrities not just from uh people who play sports and 
are in positions of acknowledgement. We need to look at the people around us and acknowledge who they are. Acknowledge the impact that they've made in their arena. Acknowledge the impact they've made in the world of uh, uh, engineering. We got some great engineers in the world of architecture, in the world of uh, criminal justice and other forms of uh, law. We have a responsibility to celebrate one another. You know, I, I love celebrating my fellow uh, colleagues in psychology. Uh, I give them big up and big props all the time and they definitely do it to me and, and do it for me. So again, I'm going to celebrate uh, D Wade, even though I ain't feeling him like I, I you know, like like I used to, uh, and 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 we we'll talk about that some other time. But what I will say is the dude was a beast on the court, and I think it's a real big bro move for him to set up and choose AI to br to bring him into the Hall of Fame of all the people he could have chose that were a part of his class that came in with him. I mean, LeBron James, who he actually won two championships with. You got so many people. Well, then LeBron isn't in the uh, Hall of Fame yet, so I don't know if you can have somebody that isn't in already bring you in. But anyway, it's, you know, it's a big thing to me. Uh, so I want to say big ups to D-Wade for choosing AI. Mad love to the answer. One of the coldest cats to ever lace him up. And to think that wasn't his best sport. He was a beast of a quarterback in high school, but basketball was his salvation. If you know the story behind this kid, you know what I mean. Uh, again, big ups to that. So we're going to keep this Ryan and Rick thing going. We can keep them short and sweet. Uh, we're going to talk about things that are in current events, in the headlines that people are talking about on social media, uh, the hot topics. We're going to keep it light, but we're going to keep it real. Uh, we're going to do the more heavier discussions while I'm in the office or while I'm in the studio or uh, wherever we're going to shoot those at. But these are going to be the more ones where I just get to do and do what I want to do. That way, if it doesn't sound off right, it doesn't come off right. If that's too much background noise, no big deal. Uh, because y'all giving me the business about my videos. I'm going to let y'all have it right now. I'm going to let y'all make it. But, hey. All right. That's it. Look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I got to get get on. I got a very long weekend ahead of me, so I'm trying to pace myself, get myself going. I got some big things going I'm really excited about. But, anyway, if you believe in what we're doing at the Odyssey Project, Black Men Leave, Restoring Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, uh, the work we're doing in mental health, work we're doing with uh, domestic violence, uh, in, intimate partner uh, violence, and intimate partner homicide, all this stuff. Uh, show some love. We've been doing it for a long time. We're going to continue to do it, but we would really love to have your support. On that note, look, I'm out here. You guys have some, have an unbelievable time. Take care.